Hey guys, it's no name 4505 and as you can see this is a Gen 3 battle, so I'm just showing off my team here and um yeah, I've had some complaints lately from um me not posting wins, but I do win a lot of times, but I also lose a bunch of times and I also get body bagged a bunch of times. So this is a literal body bag battle to um show some of the people who complain that I never post losses that yes, I do lose and I'm willing to post losses. And this is also my first Gen 3 battle. The guy who I'm battling does not have a YouTube, but um, he's a really good battler. So if he did have a YouTube, I would leave his channel in the description. So anyways, yeah, we're just um walking around. Um, I'll leave my... um. If you want to have a Hamachi battle with me, just um, PM me. Um, part of the reason why I didn't do so well was um, I'm not that familiar with the Gen 3 metagame. Um... Another reason was that this guy was just good and kind of caught me off guard. So anyways, he's going to end off with his Umbreon, and I'm going to end off with my CEO, the Tyranitar, because it's such a bounce. To get the sand up, and um, yeah, I'm just going to switch out to my baby Kush here, the Celebi. And yeah, during this whole battle, since um, when you play with Hamachi, I have this battle sped up in Camtasia, but um, it lags a bunch when you um actually do this so while I was doing this since um the day that I had this battle I had to basically be IT guy um I was troubleshooting stuff so as I set up a lead sheet because this Celebi set is a bit more offensive than other Celebi sets but um it still likes to troll with lead sheets so anyway um that ice beam is going to do like 60% or something so um I know I'm going to get some nice health back from um the leech seed and um I was thinking that a Giga Drain I could still take another one um, after Leech Seed recovery, and, um, Giga Dream would be a 2 at KO, but, um, this actually turns out to be wrong, and the only reason why I can live this is because I get a lucky crit here. So that Giga Dream does not do as much as I thought it would. I thought that it would do that much normally, but, um, Kingdra has pretty decent special defense with base 95, and I haven't st um, started to set up any Columbines yet, since I'm timid and not modest, so, um, I haven't had the chance to set up yet. So anyways, I'm getting some we're all getting our lefties recovery here, you know. Lefties recovery is good for you. And yeah, he's just gonna um Giga Dream. So I was predicting um something else to come in and him to switch. So I was just gonna go for the leech seed, but then I decided to um just go for the Giga Drain. Just to be safe. In case a grass type come in. But um his nine tails came in. And yes, this is um OU and nine tails was in OU and um Gen three. I know that, but um I mean, this guy just decided to use the nine tails anyway. So who knows? I'm gonna switch to the power because yeah and yeah. So I'm just gonna go right ahead for um the safe earthquake predicting the switch. And I just wanted to um, hit something. Because, yeah. So, anyways, um, I'm going to switch into um, my love here. Because I predicted him to toxic. And he mixes that toxic. And I know that's pretty bad. But um, it's not as bad as you think. And you'll see later that um, after I set up this comment, he misses another toxic. But in um, Gen 3, when Sander Hale is up, I think it's. It's true for Gen 2 as well that um your accuracy gets decreased by 10%. So Toxic has 90% accuracy. So it'd really be like 83 or 84% accuracy. So that's still kind of bad to miss him for that accuracy, but it's not quite as bad. So anyways, yeah, I'm poisoned. I predicted him to Toxic, and um I knew since I am a rest talker, and yeah, that was me troubleshooting some stuff there. So yeah, I'm just gonna know that so he gets up a wish. So as I predicted um his King Drew to come in. So I see he was gonna wish pass, so I just went right out for the surf. Because he could have protected and I could have set up a call mine, but he actually decides to go into um his Meganium and this Meganium is gonna um, troll me like my Celebi does here. And yeah. Gonna eat some chips. And then I'll just go to my baby Kush predicting him to leech seed because 
I don't want to get seated, and I unfortunately do not have the hidden power fire on this set. I have another one that has hidden power fire, but I don't. And he also has a Caesar there, which could be very helpful. I know since there's no, like, U-turn or x scissor or bullet punch or anything in this thing, Caesar is pretty much useless in the Gen 3 game, but just to be on the safe side, in case he decides to go for, like, Hyper Beam, which in this Gen is Caesar's most powerful move, I'm going to go into my Pedoclops. So he's going to baton pass plus 2 agility over into that Umbreon, and yeah. Willa was combined with the very low accuracy in Sand has only 55% accuracy in um, this gen, as opposed to like 75 or 80. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. So anyways, he's gonna mean look me, and um, he's gonna mean look with Tom Pass since that was um, or you could do that in um, the Gen 3 um meta game, but you can't do that in the Gen 5. I'm not really the meta game, but um, the gameplay. I don't know what the word is, but yeah. So I'm going to try and get off some Willow Wisp, and I do burn this thing, but he's setting up here, and um, when he baton passes out, he's still going to be able to um, get the plus four um, attack boost, and not plus two, because it's only the Caesar that's burned, but not whatever he's going to pass into. So what I knew is I'm just going to seismic toss here as this thing is burned, which is nice. And yeah, he's just going to baton pass, and I'm just going to seismic toss whatever's going to come in, and he has a Dragonite, and I'm like, oh crap. So that thing's at plus 4 attack and plus 2 speed, and uh, yeah, it's like sweet time here. So anyways, I'm just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp here. I was debating to go for a Pain Split, but I thought that, um, I knew I couldn't take 2. So, um, I was basically hit or miss with the Will-O-Wisp. If I had hit the Will-O-Wisp, I may have had a chance. If I missed it, no chance. So anyways, yeah, Suicune faints, I think, um, he didn't go for the outrage because he didn't want to get himself locked in, and yeah, that's the chat there. I'm basically just saying GG, and my Solomon's died, and comes my Jirachi. And yeah. I'm going to eat some chips. And I was asking him why he didn't eat Dragon Claw on the Solomon's, and he went for the area release like he did right there. But yeah, it doesn't matter. But he, So he just body bagged me. And, um, yeah, that's where I stopped the recording, right, as the turbinating, but, yeah, even though I got body bagged, that's just to prove to people that, yes, I do lose, and, um, these third gen Hamachi battles are still a lot of fun, and I'm still learning the metagame, so, hopefully through some experience I'll get better, so, um, yeah, I'll still leave my, um, the username and the password to my server if anybody wants to hit me up for the battle, oh, by the way, this guy's name was e Extreme. And I'll also leave my Skype down there so um, you can arrange some stuff. So if you want to see me do any more of these, um, let me know in the comments. Always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.